welcome back student to the uh, video lecture of operating system myself moshumi shaha uh, assistant professor of computer science and engineering department narula institute of technology the process in operating system must be protected from another activities to provide this protection we can various mechanism to ensure the only process have gained proper authorization from operating system and that can be operated on file so the protection mechanism control access to a system by limiting types of file access Uh, permitted by user in addition we can say the protection must ensure that only processes that uh, uh, have gained proper authorization from the operating system can operate on memory segment the cpu and the other resources so we can say protection is provided by a mechanism that control the access of program or processes or user to the resources and it is defined by a computer system so this mechanism must provide a means for specifying the control to be imposed so together with a mean of enforcing them so this topic Uh, in this uh, lecture series, uh, we will be discuss about uh, goal of protection. Uh, then it will be followed by principle of protections, uh, the domains of the protections. Okay, how access control? How we control? Okay, the domain, some uh, access matrix. Uh, we will be discussing about page catcher and language based protection okay uh, to end of this lecture uh, the student will able to discuss the goal and principle of protection in a modern computer system uh, after uh, the objective of this chapter is to explain how protection domain combined with an access matrix and that are used to specify the resources of a process may access and it will be examine the capability and language based protection systems so now first uh, topic of this lecture that is uh, goal of protection so a computer system have became more sophisticated and uh, preserve their application they need to protect their integrity okay so in one protection model the computer consists of a collection of object like hardware or software the protection was originally conceived by an adjacent of multi programming operating system so that the untrustworthy user might be safely share the common logical name space so here each object has a unique name and it can be accessed through a well defined set of operations okay uh, we need to provide the protection for several reason okay the most obvious reason is that the need to prevent the mischievous like intentional violation of access restriction by the user okay uh, in more general we can say the uh, however uh, it is need to ensure that each program component active in a system user system resources only the way to consist with the state policies okay the protection can improve reliability by detecting latency error at the interface between component and subsystem 
So early detection interface error can often prevent it. and a healthy subsystem by malfunctioning the subsystem. An unprotected resource cannot be defended against the misuse or use by uh, uh, incompetent user. Okay. And now, uh, what are the principles of protection? So frequently, uh, a guiding principle can be used throughout the project such as it is uh, uh, following principle as uh, simplifies the design, uh, the decision and keep the system consist of easy to understand. Okay, so a key that is the time tested guiding principle for protection is the principle of least privilege. It is dictated that the program or user, even a system, be given just enough privilege to perform their task. Like, uh, consider the analogy of security guard with a pass key. If this key allow the guard into just public area that uh, she guard, then uh, misuse of the key will result the minimal damage. Okay. So, the principal least privilege can help to produce more secure computing environment. Uh, so, the operating system following principle of least privilege implements is feature like uh, program, system call, data structure, so that uh, the failure uh, or compromise of a system component does the minimum damage so it allow the uh, it might cause the daemon to fail for example um, it should not allow the execution of code from the process stack that would enable to a remote user to gain the maximum privilege and it will access to the entire system Okay, so such operating system also provides system call and services so that allow the application to be written with a fine gained access control. Okay, uh, the access control is concerned with the determining the allowed activity of valid user or uh, meditating every attempt by the user to access in the system like it will managing the user with the principle at least the privilege entails creating separate account of each so with just the privilege that the user need an operator who need to uh, amount of tape and backup files on the system has access just those command and file needed to accomplish the job. So sometimes some system implemented role based access okay, to provide this functionality. Uh, a computer implemented in computing facility under the principle of least privilege can be limited by running specifying service like accessing specific remote host okay so the principle of least privilege can help the produce a more secure computing environment for example windows 2000 has a complex protection scheme uh, at its core and it yet has many security holes okay so here the basic terminologies are the object. Uh, object is an entity that contain or receive information. It access an object potentially implies the access to information of its content. Examples are file or program or printer, disk, etc. Okay, and access right, the permission granted to the user to perform any operation. 
example uh, we in our previous lecture also we discussed about the file permission that I read write and execute so if this is a source code okay uh, this this subject is the source code or user processes so it will access okay first it will request for the access okay and the access control policy will guard it okay it will check okay after that the resource or file will be converted the source file will be converted into object file okay and domain of protection a Domain is a collection of object and a set of access right for each computer object. So a process, a computer system is a collection of processes and object. Uh, by object, we mean the hardware object or the software object. Each object has a unique name that differentiates it from other object. Okay. The so a process uh, operates uh, within a protection domain that specify the resources may access like uh, each domain define a set of object and the type of operation that may be invoked on each system The ability to execute an operation on an object is access right. Okay. So the system will consist of such multiple domain each having certain predefined access right on different object. Like to facilitate this scheme, a process operates within a protection domain. We specify uh, the resources that process may access. So, each domain define a set of object and this type of object may be invoked in a, each object. Mm, that object type operation may be invoked by each object. The ability uh, to execute the operation uh, is known as the access right. Okay. So, uh, each user may be use a domain in case the set of object can be accessed depending upon the identity of the user. The domain switching occur when the user is changed. Generally, one user log out and another login. Okay. So each process may be a domain. In case the set of object can access, uh, we can say it depending upon uh, the identity of a process. The domain can switching occur when one process send message and another process uh, and then wait for the response. Each pro uh, procedure may be a domain. Procedure uh, can also be a domain. In this case, a set of object uh, that can be access corresponding to the local variable, it will be defined within the procedure. So, domain switching occur when the procedure calls are made. Okay. So, during execution of process, it can be changed the domain. This is called domain switching. A domain can be realized in a variety of way. Each user may be a domain. In this case, a set of object that can be accessed depending on identifier of the user. Each process may be a domain. I already told you. In this case, the set of object can be accessed depending on the identity of the project. So, this is the table of the access matrix. Okay. So, our model of protection can be viewed. Uh, so, the next is the access uh, matrix. Now, we can generate uh, this type of matrix. Uh, now, the our model of protection can be viewed as a matrix called the access matrix. The rows of the matrix 
represent the domains and the column of the matrix represent the objects so the axis ij is the set of operation uh, that a process executing in domain i can invoke an object a process executing in domain i can invoke an object j uh, let us consider uh, the access matrix policy uh, it provides us the mechanism of specifying the certain policies that is a mechanism consists of implementing the access matrix and the ensuring that the properties we have i outlined it is a uh, hold and more specifically uh, we must ensure that a process uh, that is executing in the domain i can only access this object specified in row i and don't uh, only as allowed by the access matrix let us consider this matrix uh, this is a figure a i shall be referring to this figure uh, in the consecutive slide also so this is my domain matrix these are the domains d1 d2 d3 uh, i have four, we have four domains okay that is d1 d2 d3 d4 uh, and there are four objects okay that are f1 f2 f3 and printer or we can say laser printer now the process that are present in the domain i can read the file f1 and file f3 okay so in domain one the processes are can read only file f1 and f3 okay so in domain two it only access the printer okay so the processes having in domain two can only uh, uh, use the printer okay they only perform the printing operations so the processes or object uh, which are residing in domain 3 okay uh, they can only read uh, file f2 okay and uh, uh, they can execute file f3 okay a process that is present in domain d4 okay it can read and write file f1 and read and write file f3 also this is the attribute access matrix so now uh, with the help of this we uses the uh, what are the uses of access matrix now we will be here so the access matrix designed to separate the mechanism for the policy okay so what is the mechanism the mechanism is the operating system provide the access matrix plus the rules or guidelines uh, it ensure that the matrix is only manipulated by the authorized agent and that uh, rules are strictly enforced okay obviously only the authorized user uh, can are given the privilege to the access of those object and the rules are the given in the uh, access matrix it is to be strictly followed next the policy the policy is the user dictated policy who can access what object and in what mode that is if you go back 
to our we we cannot access uh, that is the process like domain d1 okay in previous picture you can see the domain d1 cannot access f2 okay the domain uh, the object which are is a uh, domain one can't uh, f2 or uh, uh, the processes or object which are in domain d2 can't access f1 or f2 or f3 okay so uh, this figure is the uh, i have shown as the access matrix of figure a where domains are also treated as object okay so in the row we see there are four domain d1 d2 d3 d4 in the object there are file 1 file 2 file 3 laser printer as well as there are domains are also treated as object like domain 1 domain 2 domain 3 domains 4 okay these four domains are written over there okay so it will be added in the object list so in the latest edition what are the actions that is uh, domain d4 can switch domain okay the uh, domain d1 can switches to d2 d2 can switches to d3 d4 d3 can switches uh, it can't switch and in d4 can switches to d1 okay so d3 is not given any privilege so that is the copy dice okay so here now uh, this uh, picture shows suppose the ability to copy the access right from one domain or a row of access matrix to another is denoted by the asterisk sign okay all right so uh, this is a copy so here asterisk sign says, so this is a copy here and this is also wait so so it will be accessed right from one domain to another and it is appended to the access right to the copyright policy also so it will allow the copying of the access right only within the column okay okay and that is for object in which uh, right is defined so only within the column you can perform the copyright now uh, now the copyrights are domain d1 It can be uh, uh, for file 1 it can be read and for file 3 we also saw a right privilege is there. Okay. So here see the F3 have the right privilege also. Okay, similarly, the D2 again copy one write read, and this is also resemble the same. That is, we can say uh, that the process uh, that is the executing in domain D2 can copy and read the operations into any entry that are associated with the file F2. Okay, so asterisk size is also there. So hence the asset ma access matrix can be modified to the access ma matrix right. Okay, so that is the copy right. Now this is the access, ma access matrix with owner rights. Okay, so we also need a mechanism to allow in addition to new rights and removal of some right that is at some point of time you can say uh, that is uh, number of i 
want to remove this write and add new write so the owner write is control this operation okay so the access ij include the owner write then a process that is executing in a domain can add uh, the or remove any write in any entry in the column example in this picture diagram only our domain d1 is a owner privilege okay so look the d1 has a owner of file f1 right so it is given that our domain d1 is the owner of file f1 and thus it can add and delete any valid in the column of f1 similarly d2 is the owner of f3 d2 is the owner it have the owner privilege of the file f3 so he or she can be do any change in the column f2 okay and thus the access matrix can be modified so this is the modified at access matrix the second diagram uh, here d1 is the owner of file f1 any changes can be made so the, that has the remove or modified access matrix see the execute is absent again the owner d2 has make any changes uh, so here she added the access privilege right over so that is the owner right you can do this kind of change now this is the modified access matrix okay so that figure then we got a figure b and this is the modified version that is we have from figure a and figure b uh, uh, the it is incorporate all these changes okay in previous diagram we see over the owner okay and it this is the owner so the mod all the modification will reflect in this diagram in this access matrix okay so here uh, next is page catching now the page catching is a protection uh, that can be applied to the non file resources right that is the uh, not a file then what type of Uh, protection you can provide um, to them that is given to the page catcher and uh, the example of solarize uh, oracle solarize uh, 10 provides the role based access control that is r bac to implement the least privilege and the privilege we know that it is the right to execute system call or use an option within a system call can be assigned to a process the user assigned role granting access to privilege and programs it will enable the role via password to gain its privilege uh, it is uh, similar to the access matrix also it can be access the process now language based protection it 
specification of protection in a programming language allow high level description of policies for the application and use of resource. Uh, the language implementation can be provide a software protection enforcement, enforcement when it automatically hardware supported checking is unavailable and uh, it interpret protection specification to generate calls on whatever the protection system is provided by the hardware and the operating system so thank you mm. this is the end of our lecture Okay, so in this lecture, we discuss about the computer system contains many objects that needed to be protected from misuse. The object can be hardware like memory, CPU, I.O. or it can be software and access right of permission to perform an operation on an object. Here, uh, 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 today we discuss about a domain that is a set of access that can be uh, 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 have some access right the process is executing in domain and maybe use any of the access right okay uh, the access matrix is a general model of protection uh, and it provides a mechanism for protection without imposing the particular protection. The uh, access matrix is sparse and it is normally implemented either in access list associated with each. Okay. So in real system are much more limited than the general model and it tends to provide the protection only for files okay and the language based protection provide the finer gained attribution of request and the privilege than the operating system is able to provide for example a single java jvm can run several threads okay and each in a uh, different protection class so it enforces the resource request through the sophisticated stack specification uh, this is the end of our uh, now we can i can conclude our today's topic okay thank you for listening uh, these are some reference books okay which uh, you can take help from these books also if you have any query uh, if you uh, you can feel free to contact me this is my mail id thank you once